Hello YouTube viewers, having a look at the Brix S Ultra Compact PC Kit made by Gigabyte. This particular unit is an i3 model. It's essentially a notebook, but in a very, very small form factor, basically a little rectangular box PC. It's got an Intel i3-4010U CPU, comes with two gigs of RAM standard, DDR3, low voltage RAM. It's, it's got a uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle that comes with it, I've got to plug that in. Also, I've uh, bought a uh, display port adapter so that I can plug in a DIN device, because ideally this would be something you'd use for a workstation. I don't like hard drives anymore, I just use SSDs because it increases the boot time of the PC substantially and there's no risk of anybody knocking it. It also comes with an adapter where you can basically plug this unit onto the back of a monitor. So very, very nice. The model is a GB-BXI3H-4010. And uh, let's open it up and have a look what we got here. It's got two USB ports in the front and two at the back. Comes with a uh, traditional notebook sort of adapter. So let's pop this open. First time I'm actually opening it, so hopefully I'm not too much of a klutz. There you can see over here, nicely packaged. And uh, that there is the unit. Hopefully I've got the right screwdriver kit with me, otherwise I am going to suffer a bit here. Looks like I... This way up it says. So there we go. That is the unit. Nice and simple. As you can see, we've got uh, two USB 3 ports in the front, as well as a microphone jack. And we've got some ventilation holes on the side. We have a HDMI, a display port, a LAN port, and another two USB 3 at the back, as well as a Kensington lock for securing it. It's made of a metal frame, so if someone does decide to steal this, they're going to have quite a difficult time uh, ripping it loose. That's it. That's the entire computer. So let's... Uh, have a look what else is included in the box. Let's open it up and see. Just throwing everything off to the side here. You get a little manual, which we'll read if we struggle. We have some drivers, which are just brilliant. Probably the traditional Intel. We have a little screw here to put up here for a rubber seal included in package for headphone use. Okay. Obviously, to seal up the container if you don't want to use the headphone. And there's your little monitor bracket. So you can actually screw it onto the back of a monitor. Really awesome. All right, so a um, couple of screws, and I have no idea what else is in here, but it would have... Ah, there we go, charger. We have a traditional charger, comes with it, just like a normal notebook charger, basically. And it's very low power, this thing. Yeah, it's really a traditional charger, nothing spectacular there at all. Put that over there. And we have, what on the side we have? more screws and things, and we have a ah, power cable, which does not fit the South African plugs, would appear, I'll have to get an adapter for that, well a little fit, but I'll need an adapter, okay, so that's that's the box, pretty nice and pretty, um, now we have the device, now as you can see I bought a little display port adapter, plug it in there, and there's your D-sub on that side, easy. All right, now, to continue, we have a little stand over there, it would appear, and let's uh, open up the toys. We have a Corsair, pretty much a low-performance SSD, it's only, a, I think, a 300 meg read and write, but I have a thing for Corsair, I'm not a great fan of most other units. Pop it open. Corsair LX. Very cheap little drive. Very, very good performance. Exceptionally light. Very reliable from my experience. Let's throw these on the floor. We'll get to them a bit later. And then I'm going to open up the RAM while we're at it as well. With my trusty blade. Hopefully I have enough, um, or I have the right screwdriver for the job. And we'll just rip it up. Ideally, you want to have yourself earthed before you start working with components like this, but uh, I have no fear that i got a wooden floor here and I have touched the back of my PC to earth myself or ground myself, as you call it, in some parts of the world. Discharge my electrical charge. And here is the little... Wi-Fi adapter, Wi-Fi adapter, sorry, and that, I wasn't talking into the microphone there, that comes with the device, Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. 
Okay, so throw all the toys there, put the blade there, and hopefully we have the right tool for the job. Let's um, try this for size. No, we don't. Okay, so I had to go get the right screwdriver, a little Phillips screwdriver. Open it up at the bottom here. This is the first time I'm doing this, so it can't be too much of a rocket scientist thing to do. Put the screw there. Open up this one over here. And uh, put that one over there. Always a good idea to read the manual before you do these sort of things, but uh, how hard could it be? Put that one there. Stay. All right. And this will probably be the last one we have to worry about. Very nice, smooth process so far. And I imagine we have got to pull this apart somehow. That's what the little clip there is for, to give it a pull. And as it would appear, it has got no memory in it whatsoever. What is this? Why is this lying loose? That's worrying. My god. That does not look good. Why would that device be lying loose like that inside? Oh, I see. Sorry. It's pretty obvious it's it's for an SSD, that's what it's for. So that is it like that. They obviously just tape things down for uh, whatever reason. Okay, so how are we going to get the SSD in here? That's the next question. That is obviously for the drive. And it'll just go into the little bay, it'll go into the little bay over there. And this I assume. is for my little Wi-Fi dongle or something weird. I do not see any place to plug these on. That is slightly disturbing. This obviously goes in over here. That's an MSATA connector I imagine and that is a Completely different connector. That plugs in like that. Definitely doesn't go in there. That's an M starter. So this goes in right here. This is the point where you start reading the manual. Rather than force something in and break something. Okay, so let us see. It is correct, it's the bottom one. Disconnect the two antenna by manually lifting off the clips and then hold them in place. All right. M remove the screw in the left corner. Oh, so I see it's this one over here, you see? There's a little screw right there. Take that out. That's obviously going to be used for holding down the uh, the device. All right, so that's for that. The wireless model. How to safely remove it? I don't want to safely remove it. I want to put it in. Now I wonder, because this does not appear to have any. Uh, left or right mode they appear to be the same thing I'm just going to pull these off these two little antenna an antenna shouldn't have a positive and a negative that would not make any sense whatsoever so i'm going to just plug this one in right here like this There we go, plugs on, and that plugs on, so two antenna are plugged in, and then we're going to take this, as you can see there, I've got the two antenna plugged in, I'm going to take the device, 
plug it into the bottom over here. All right, push it down a bit, take my little screwdriver. Screw that little screw in over there, as you can see. That holds it uh, all in place nicely. That's it, nice secure connection, the antenna's on nicely. Very happy with that. And quite sad, I thought it came with two gigs of RAM. Apparently it doesn't. Apparently the box means two DIM slots, so uh, we'll go with that. Let's just check one other thing. Um, it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever which RAM you put in. Um, one should be fine. I'm going to stick it in the bottom because it appears to reference reference the bottom. So I didn't need really try to follow the instructions. Line up the clips over here. You can see it's pretty simple over there. Push them in, push them down, and they clip in place like that. All right, so that's the easy part. Now the SSD. All right, it comes with some screws in the box. So this is probably just going to be a case of... Um, Let's see, which, which will be best. Um, the device is going to sit like that, right? You obviously want to have a situation where you have the, where you have the least amount of you know, twisting and turning. So I imagine that would probably be the best way to mount the drive. Like such. But that is not the way this works necessarily. Ah, oh, there we go. We have a... Uh, this side up. Well, this is going to be important. This side up. That is not the way. That's not the right way either. That's the right way for the drive. Yep, that's the right way. Just like that. And this all fits in nicely, just like that. So, Pop this up like this. The um, unit will plug in like that. Nice and secure. Everything fits really, really nicely. Happy about that. Again, we've got these little screws here. Obviously, a couple of them are used for the, uh, the SSD drive. We'll just take those out. Hopefully, they're the right size. They look a bit... Um, Small for an SSD, but we'll see in a moment. It always helps to have magnetized um, screws or screwdriver sets. And this unit is a bit magnetized, so that does help a bit. I have a suspicion it's the other screws in the box. No, these are right. There we go. Don't tighten them too much, there's no need just as long as they don't vibrate. Also, when you put in screws, always remember to do one side first, then the alternate side. Don't... Uh, you know, put them both in on the same side. And then the other side. This, this allows for a, a more even fit, so to speak. So let's just pop that in there. You can probably get away with just using two, but I'm going to be uh, okay. That's not good. Pop that out. Yeah, whatever you do, you don't want to leave loose components lying around inside the unit. That would be bad. Pop that in there. Just give it a little twist to make it uh, stay in place. You don't have to force the darn thing, and these devices don't move. Bloody hell, I'm nimble. Upcake oh, with these. Uh... There we go. Nice and tight, and that's it. Got those two plugged in. Oh, that seems to be right. So we've got the antennas plugged in. We've got the uh, Wi Fi device plugged in. We've got the RAM in. We've got the hard drive in. Close it up. Seems fine. Is this the right way, however? That's the question. Yeah, it seems to be fine. And we just take, once again, 
you want to have one that side, then the alternate one, screw them in. He's in. No need to stress them to the point of uh, breaking them, just make a nice little, you know, so it doesn't wobble. And that, ladies and gents, is how easy it is to put together a gigabyte uh, bricks unit. Simple as that. That is the device with the, um, the what do you call installed, the, um, the hard drive installed, the RAM installed, and the Wi-Fi dongle installed. And we didn't even have to really look at the instructions too much. So uh, that's that. Hope you found this video entertaining and informative. And if you uh, like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, give the share button. That is the Brix S i3 with an SSD 128 gig drive, as well as four gigs of RAM installed. And there you go. Till next time. That's me punching out.